Everyone knows JoJo's, right? The manga is made by Hirohiko Araki, and the anime that we all know is made by David Productions. But have you heard about the OVA? You haven't, right? Or have you? If you have, have you watched it? If you watched it, do you have the DVD? If you have the DVD, do you have the VHS? If you- okay, I think you get the point. There is more to it than you would initially think. So, we'll be looking at what the OVA actually is. First, we'll get into what's actually inside of the OVA, or well, the two OVAs technically. Hang in there while I try to explain. The first OVA is about the final half of part 3, starting with the gang meeting Iggy and ending with the fight against Dio. This OVA was probably initially more made for the manga readers who already knew the story. The second OVA was about the first half of part 3 and was meant to give more context to the people who didn't know the original story. Starting with, well, the start and ending with the fight against justice. It was pretty much a prequel. Both OVAs give their own take on the original story, with the first part even adding a completely new character. Except for that change, every change was meant to shorten the story. Since they only had 13 episodes to tell the full story, they only focused on the most important and interesting parts. And from what I've seen, the English DVDs apparently also have a short summary of what happens in part 1 and 2. To be completely honest, the entire OVA is pretty good, and including when this was actually made, it's really good. The only thing that I had a lot of problems with was the voice acting. That could be because I watched the dub, but they also really just could be that bad. There are definitely a lot more opportunity for memes, just like the anime we all know today. Iggy, get out of here! He's still alive! Hey guys, I'm going AFK, BRB. Hey guys, I'm Next, what the OVA is. Not the story, but the actual physical release. The first OVA was made by Studio APPP and released in 1993 on VHS and Laserdisc by Pony Canyon. To be completely honest, I don't know what Laserdisc is. The second OVA was still made by Studio APPP, but this time it was released in 2000 on VHS and DVD by a company called Clockworks. The second OVA was released as Adventure 1-7, and because of this, the first OVA needed to be rebranded as Adventure 8-13, to even with a pretty obvious change in animation. The first OVA was made with physical cells, while the second OVA was made digitally. In 2007, a full box set was released, which included a CD and a full set of tarot cards. But before that, in 2003, there were 6 volumes dubbed in English and released by Super Techno Arts. But however, in 2008, it was suspended for being pretty controversial. This controversy even made Viz Media, the English publishers for the manga, stop releasing English Jojo manga for a full year. Even though the manga didn't have anything to do with the OVA, their reviews of the Jojo OVA ended up being pretty good, gammering a score of 7.44. It received positive feedback from many fans showcasing its quality, the OVA's score places it just half a point apart from the first and second parts of the newer series. Furthermore, it's only one point away from the newer series' third part. Speaking of the third part, it's worth noting that in 2014, David Productions finally adapted the full story of JoJo's Part 3. And if there's one thing to remember, then remember that Dio used an oil tank. An oil tanker for you. 